Welcome to the Shape and Semantics Modeling Group at IMATICNR. The Institute of Applied Mathematics and Information Technologies is one of 88 institutes of the Italian National Research Council. The Shape and Semantics Modeling Group deals with geometry processing with mathematical and topological approaches and by considering shape as a set of geometric, structural and semantic aspects. Our research has a strong and validated impact in different application contexts, like industrial production, environmental monitoring, health, bioinformatics and cultural heritage. Enjoy now a sample of the main results of the group. We decompose a three-dimensional shape into a small set of overlap free height field blocks. Each block is a volume enclosed by a flat base and a height field surface defined with respect to this base. This decomposition is useful for fabrication methodologies such as 3-axis CNC milling. Our surface 2 model algorithm partitions a colored surface into single color parts. Each part can be fabricated using a low-cost single filament 3D a printer, and our algorithm guarantees that the parts can be reassembled without obstructions. We transform a generic set of triangles in 3D space into a well-formed simplicial complex. Intersecting elements in the input are correctly identified, subdivided, and connected to a range of valid configuration. Our algorithm is an important ingredient for advanced 3D modeling operations and to guarantee a successful fabrication. Amati is involved in the ERC Advanced Grant Change which aims to make geometry processing become PDE-aware, and vice versa. We design tools able to embrace geometry and analysis within the same paradigm, admitting into the subdivision of a shape any type of polytopal elements in addition to the traditional triangular and quadrangular or tetrahedral and hexahedral elements. We developed a graphical framework to support the design of meshes containing complex elements, which stress some geometrical properties according to a number of quality metrics. Then, we solve a PDE with a polytopal elements method and study the correlation between the performance of the method and the geometrical properties of the input mesh. In dealing with similarity reasoning between 3D models, multiple criteria are necessary to span across large collections of shapes, defining relations between objects in multiple search environments. Working with 3D models, we have to face specific challenges such as non-structured data and pose invariance. Our approach considers three factors. First, the geometry of the models, which can be encoded in quantifiable descriptors. Second, the topology detects the connectivity in the holes of the considered shape. Third, the physical properties of an object, like colors, are again converted in quantifiable descriptors to be processed. While each of these measures carries information, we opt for a combination of these three factors to assess similarity between objects. Our ongoing research involves the recognition of complex local elements on 3D models using a plethora of different approaches. Semantics of a shape in its context of use can support analysis and manipulation. In 3D video sequences, the speed descriptor is used to represent the movement of corresponding parts across consecutive frames, to characterize and classify the action of the subject. In medical diagnostics, 3D reconstructed geometry can be augmented, enhanced with patient-specific data from diverse sources to detect, quantify and monitor over time erosion, degradation of bones. With part-based annotation we can locate salient features. Then, we set high-level constraints on part attributes and relations that capture the object's nature, functionality or style, to drive a semantically correct shape deformation. Another important aspect treated by Amati is the definition of methods and tools for the easy and natural interaction with shapes. The inspection and manipulation of 3D models is made easier thanks to natural interaction methods such as gaze, voice commands and dynamic gestures, allowing the users to easily see correspondences between assemblies, disassemble and reassemble 3D models. We moved a first step towards the integration of the popular cage-based deformation techniques in VR, exploiting available segmentations and features localization to simplify the selection of cage vertices influencing the part of interest and allowing simple transformations to be applied to the selected cage vertices. We have introduced a method for the recognition and modeling of graphical motifs based on the generalization of the Huff transform to algebraic curves. We have also developed a visualization and manipulation tool to support an interactive deformation based on curve parameters on a multi-touch table. Current ongoing research includes the monitoring of urban infrastructures using low-cost devices and artificial intelligence techniques. As an example, we mentioned automatic pothole detection using deep learning and convolutional neural networks. Within the Urban Intelligence Project, CNR aims at developing a digital replica of the real city and its environmental, socioeconomic and morphological components, a digital twin collecting and processing real-time data to support urban management with predictive simulations.